Hello YouTube, this is Mark from Abilities and today I'm going to be talking about how I completely re-engineered my Dyson adapter to work with the V7 through V12 models of this handheld vacuum. About a month ago, an individual had saw my post on Instagram and my video and reached out to me and wanted to try this adapter. This individual was a quadriplegic like myself with similar wrist extension and it just so happened that he lived in Los Angeles. So I contacted him and asked him a little bit about his vacuum and told him that I wanted to print out some parts, come meet him and see if this would work. Now the one question that I didn't get answered was what version of the Dyson he had. It turned out that he had a V8 version, which if you look up the V8, it's gonna be very similar to the V7 model. And you'll notice that there's very little space in here where the trigger and the handle is. Now compare that to the V10 model that I have and you'll see that there's a huge difference. So when I created my adapter, I created it with this space in mind. And that is that the bracket was going in and it was snapping backwards. The trigger was going to be engaged with a piece that would fit in through this space. And when we turn with the wrist extension, it would engage it. So essentially, this piece right here. When turned, this little piece was going to turn and hit the trigger in this space. Now, because the V7 and V8 were drastically different, I could no longer use my design on this model. So that was a little bit problematic because I wanted this to work on all of the different Dyson vacuums. So I had to go back to the drawing board and re-engineer it. Now, the one thing that you can notice here on these is that the handle, right? On this model and the other model, this mold is still the same, or at least it looks very similar, right? So what I thought was, okay, I need to change my adapter, which was snapping back to now open to where it can snap forward. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this would work, this changed adapter would work on this version seven model. So I'm gonna do this down here just cause I don't have a whole lot of balance and I'll pull it up here and show you once I have it snapped on. So you can see here, that this fits nice and snug on here. There's not a whole lot of room in here for these members to where it's going to engage the cuff. But the nice thing is, is that this angle of this design is exactly the same as the angle of this handle. So that was good. That told me that the mold hadn't changed and that I could use this on both. So now what I needed to do was I needed to be able to make sure that this was easy for someone to be able to put together. Someone like myself with limited hand dexterity, could you put these pieces together? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works on this model and try it because I only have the handle of this version and I used it merely just so that I could make sure that this bracket fit. Now, the other concern that I had, just so you know, before I try the other one, you see this space down here, it's very small. So I had to change a couple of things. I had to make sure one, that I could fit this cross member through so that I could attach it to the actual bracket. And that was very important, um, especially since this is going to be, uh, you know, the wrist extension function of this is what's gonna allow you to, to, do, to utilize the vacuum. Now the other piece was that, how am I going to engage the trigger, right? I don't have the space that I have in the 10 to be able to use this kind of design where the piece is attached and it turns and it hits it. So what I did, and I'll show you with this one, is that um, once this goes through the vacuum, I attach this little key. And this is the last piece to get attached once this is through. And that way, once it's on and it turns, it's gonna hit the key and, I, and it's gonna hit the trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that works on this model, that way you get a better idea. So let's go ahead and detach this. So we'll detach the bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and take my V10 model, which is a little bit heavier. Now, the one thing that we have to do, similar to in my previous video, we wanna attach the arm cuff first, because there's very little space in here um, once it's attached to be able to put it on after the fact. So we're gonna take this cuff, and we're gonna attach it on this side, kind of smack it down so it's on there. Now, I 
should be able to do this up here so you can see what it looks like. So here's the V10 model. I'm going to take this bracket. I'm going to come from behind. I'm going to put my hand on top. I'm going to go ahead and snap that on, right? It has a nice little crisp sound. Now, I added a handle on the back, and this was so that it was easier to transport it around, also to be able to pull the bracket off. This is not coming off. The way it fits on here, it's really, really snug. So you may have noticed from the version two, uh, the adapter that I made, I had to create this little protective sleeve. And that was just so that this bracket wouldn't snap forward and off of the unit. But what I found out when doing the reverse is that the weight is actually going downward. So with this type of unit, it's not, uh, it's, it's not like pulling back, so to speak. It's pulling forward more. So uh, this bracket, it's not in any danger of it coming off. Plus it fits on there really snug. Now, um, the next thing is going to be to put the actual um, wrist extension component on. So I'm going to pull the key out. That's this little piece here. See, that fits in this little box. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in. But what I do with this is I, I put the vacuum on my lap and I turn it upside down. I put this little loop here so that way when you're putting it on and taking it off, it's a little bit easier to do, especially if you don't have a hand function. And I, I adjusted the tension within where this, where this grabs so that it's easy to pull on and, out, on and off. Right. Okay, so let me go ahead and line this up. All right, so I got it lined up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and snap it down. All right, so that was it. It's, it's in, it didn't take a whole lot of pressure in order to snap it down. So I'm gonna put that like that. All right, so now we got our cuff on. Now the last piece is going to be to put this key in. And um, I, I'm gonna be honest and say that this isn't the easiest thing to put on, but I'm gonna you know, change that to make sure it's, it's more comfortable. But this piece is really, really good because you know, depending on how strong your wrist function is, um, you know, the, the, the nice thing is that I can adjust the thickness of this. So the way that this cuts in, I could extend that out. So let's say you don't have really strong wrist extension. So you just want to barely lift the cuff in order to engage the trigger. I can make this thicker and it'll make it easier to do. And that way I don't have to change the whole design. I'm literally just changing this one piece. I'm going to turn the unit around so you can see how I put it in. So this little box right here is going to be where the key is going to go in. So we have to make sure that this is pressed all the way down and that this has a little bit of an angle. Um, like I said, this isn't the easiest to do. I'm gonna have to figure out an, a better way to do it, but I'm gonna feed it through. Turn this a little bit, just so we can get it on there. All right, so there we go. We've got this pin in here, and what you can see is if I just even use this, when I turn it, it's gonna go ahead and hit that trigger just by making that motion, all right? So it's kind of the same idea with the older versions, but we've kind of broken it down into different pieces and made it a little bit more robust, right? This is gonna work a little bit better and it gives us some flexibility if we wanna make um, you know, more of a custom design for someone that has different hand function. All right, so let's just double check to make sure everything's easy to go. Um, oh, the, the, the other thing, we wanna make sure that the part is all the way up. So there's a little bit of movement up and down I want to make sure that this part is all the way up just so that it engages the trigger and with the weight of the unit it could slide so you just it's just better to push it all the way up all right so let's go ahead and give this a try and see what this see how this works all right so we're comfortable but this works really well um let's just back up it's just very comfortable in my hand now this works well for me it might not work well for everyone else um, the individual that I did try it on, they actually wanted to have a slightly wider cuff just because of where their wrist touches. And you'll notice from the, um, from the, uh, the reacher, the quad tools reacher, they have an additional piece down here to brace the, uh, the wrist. So that does help stabilize it as well. Um, I don't think it's necessary on this application, but you could, we could think of something to do like that to stabilize the wrist more. But again, this works for me, might not work for everyone, but the goal is to be able to have it work for everyone. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the large attachment so we can do the big vacuuming and I'm gonna show you one other change that we made. All right, so this is always my favorite. Um, this isn't the easiest to do, but we manage. All right, just gotta line this baby up. All right. Wow. 
Okay. All right, so we got that lined up. Now, if you watched my other video, you saw me lifting the unit up and over my legs um, with what we have here. The only problem with that is you might not have all of that shoulder motion to do it. It's really awkward weight because it's long to be able to do that. And it's slow and it's not really safe. So what I did was I created one additional part. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and I'm gonna snap it on. So now, it's on there pretty snug. And the idea is that when your arm's in the sling, you're gonna have this additional handle to, to you know, mobilize the unit and move the weight around. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. So at this point, I've got the version three on here with this little adaptive piece, and we're gonna go ahead and try it. So the way that I would take this off my lap is I'd grab this, and then i put my hand in the loop. Now, it's a lot more manageable to carry around. That's, to me, that would be my one complaint. If I just had this, I, I would need something else. Some people like to put their hand underneath it, that's fine. The only thing is it's very slippery. So to me, I like the handle, it's a little bit more secure. All right, so we're gonna back up and we're gonna do a little bit of vacuuming. Turn on my wheels here. Um, and this is all, you know, personal preference. This is how I like to do it. It might not be how you like to do it but I really want your feedback so I know, okay, this is something that would make it better for me, Mark, and then we can incorporate it. Um, in the future, one of the things that I'm gonna do is look at you know, this P, the, these attachments. It's really hard to get the long one out with the red button. I'm gonna look at something we can put on here that allows us to engage it and separate it at the same time so it's easier. So we'll just keep making upgrades as we go here uh, to figure this out. All right, so let's go ahead and vacuum. So I'm gonna start over on this side, so I'm gonna lift it up like this. I want to lift. We go ahead and lift like this. Then we'll lift to the middle, and then we're finished. We'll lift it up. Put it here. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. These are the upgrades that I made. Um, you know, again, I really like these handles. I think that this makes it a lot easier for someone to maneuver this vacuum around, you know, whether you're putting it in a tight spot to store it away, or you just need to get in some really tight corners. I think it, uh, it's good. The key that we have in here is great to adjust the, you know, the thickness of it based on your wrist extension strength. We can adjust the size of the wrist cuffs. And then of course, this handle over here, which allows you to take it off. So let's do this one last thing. So let's go ahead and take all these pieces off. So we're gonna start with this one. Oh, which is not the easiest. I made it really nice and snug. You got my legs shaking. Oh. All right, now, so we'll slide this whole piece down in order to take everything else off. I'm gonna take the, take the key out, all right? Now, you remember that I said, um, you know, I adjusted the, uh, the tension on this so it's easy to get out. So what we do is, gonna back up. You see this piece, I'm gonna go ahead, put my hand on it, put my finger here, and just, right, like this, just wiggle it out. You can see it comes out pretty easy. And then with this unit, you can either pull at the handle, but since I have the space, what I like to do is I just put my hands right here on the side and it pops off. And that's basically it in a nutshell. So thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you like the changes and the upgrades. I think this is a lot better. Uh, I like that it's universal with the V7 through V12 models, uh, which allows a lot more options. Uh, we're gonna keep refining this. You know, as I, as I send this out to more people, have them try it with different levels of ability and their wrists and all that, we're gonna come up with different ways to design this. And that's the fun part for me. Um, you know, I, I know that we're not there yet. You know, there, there's always gonna be a better version. And so we'll just keep going in that regard. But I think this is a really great upgrade. And this now is going to work for other individuals as well. 
So thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, send me your comments below, uh, you know, about this, your thoughts, thing, you know, things that you might like to see. Uh, it's all good feedback for me and I want to keep putting out more videos and more of these adaptive tools. Uh, stay tuned. I haven't been great about putting out these videos and that's because I've just been designing. I've been doing a lot of work trying to come up with different adaptive product designs that will help people and the, the, the filming part is something that's hard for me to do. The designing is something that isn't and I spend a lot of my time doing that. So again, thank you for watching my video today and keep working hard towards your independence and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.